what what do you what do you think about our conversation so far? You've seen some of the reluctance and belligerence we encounter at home. What do you think about where we are at this point? I don't think anything's changed. Mm -hmm. She wants to go home. Beyond that, she doesn't have a plan. Mm -hmm. She's not willing to meet us halfway or discuss possible solutions or changes in her behavior. And, uh, you know, we want to make the situation better. I'm not sure that she does. You can, you can either participate in this conversation and give them some reason to believe that there's some sort of different agenda here or not. Uh, it, it's, it's up to you. Because my advice to you is the last thing you do is take this sullen chip on the shoulder, I don't have to do a damn thing you tell me, attitude, child, back home, and go right back into the pressure cooker that you were in. That is the last thing I would do. I would either find someplace else for her to go, or I would prosecute her and file multiple charges against her and have her arrested and do not hire her a lawyer. Let those chips fall where they will and let her spend the next four years in jail until she reaches 18 or 19 years old, whatever. She's either going to get involved and get in the game or she's not. But I would refuse to be held hostage in my own home by a, a hostile child with this attitude. You're not willing to work with these guys to try to put anything together. So You guys are not telling me like what you want to do. I've yet to hear you say you're sorry for anything or accept responsibility for your actions. I do. Like, what I did was wrong. I know that. But when we confront you over your misconduct, you didn't say, I'm sorry, it'll never happen again, or, or man, that was a huge mistake. None of that. You just you clam up and you wait for us to, you know, finish confronting you. We wait for the storm to blow over. So, I mean, you don't, you're not accepting responsibility of your actions. You don't show any remorse for what you do. And your misbehavior is escalating. It's getting worse. We're, we're scared. We're frustrated. We're frightened. We're angry. We, nothing we can do or say seems to get through to you. We're, you know, we're, we're a loss. We don't know what to do next. But we still care about you. We still love you. We still want to help you become the wonderful person we know you can be. We want the best for you. You can tell everybody in the world you don't love me anymore. You can call me by my first name, as long as you do that from a happy, safe, healthy place. And now you don't have just yourself to consider. You've got your unborn child to consider. And that includes prenatal visits. That includes getting, you know, the... Well, first off, we need to find out if she's pregnant. Yes. That's tantamount. I mean, she needs to take a pregnancy test. She needs to take it today. And if... If she's not willing to take a pregnancy test to confirm that objectively, then all bets are off. Uh, are, are you willing to take a pregnancy test now? Okay, you can go with her right now and take a pregnancy test. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.